everybody, I'm Reverend Karen Mikowski, aka Butterfly Karen. Welcome. So, I just want to do a quick intro to my um, collective energy uh, messages for the collective. So, if you're um, a subscriber, thank you for being here. Thank you for staying with me. And, um, you know, if you're new, welcome. Um, welcome to my weird and wonderful, wacky little world of, you know, I am a bit of a, an authentic weirdo. So you're either going to love me or hate me. There is no in between. Um, so what you'll realize is as you sort of glide through my playlist is that I not only am I a minister, but I am um, a parapsychologist. I do specialize in many areas. I do many, many things with my um, expertise, my specialized services and abilities, human abilities. We've all got them. But because I sort of work on cold cases and active missing persons cases and things like this, it's kind of, again, it's a bit of a dark area, sort of where I go when I'm tapping into energy frequencies and using my amazing abilities to help people, again, unfortunately, victims, etc. However, there is a sort of nice light side of what I do too. So that's why I do my collective energy readings. Um, I mean, I don't, obviously, I don't use cards, but... Um, just I will literally tap into energy frequencies and I will just allow to come allow what wants to come in to come in um, so the messages can be very random they can be very you know again I I use a lot of it I do use the remote viewing effect obviously and I again I do many I get it's, it's the easiest way to understand who I am, what I do, and why I do it is just to go to the website. So the, all of that information regards to me is in the um, description box below. Um, I do have an amazing pay it forward service right now too. That link is there too. That's amazing because um, all of the donations and um, contributions I receive through that is just fantastic. It just allows me to do to give free sp um, spiritual counselling to people that can't really afford it. Uh, to anybody that needs it, um, free parapsychological um, investigations and everything, it really does make a huge difference. And I, and I just feel like over the last month, just because of the donations and contributions you people are uh, sending, it's just amazing. You don't even realize just how many people um, you've sort of helped through uh, making those contributions and donations. That That's what pays for my time because my services are free, but my time is not. My time and energy are incredibly important, so we have to protect that. But um, I've been able to do, do so much for so many people, especially this last month. Um, so it's a big thank you to you guys and gals, and I, you know, I do hope you will continue to sort of pay it forward because I'm all about beautiful karma, um, and the karma is just that energetic frequency we do give out. Um, so if you're great, that's all coming back. If you're good, that's coming back. If you're if you're bad, that's all you've got coming back. So it's up to you to do that sort of do that shadow work within you. Um, so again, big thank you, um, and that's so that's kind of what I sort of do. That's the pay it forward. But again, all the information is in the description box below. Now the energy messages I do, like I say, I, I tap. I try to designate at least one day a week, and I feel like I'm going to start designating two days to this too, just to receive message for the collective. Absolutely, messages from loved ones, etc. Um, whatever shift in the um, atmosphere, you know, environments and things like this. If there's any sort of messages coming through, any sort of little warnings. I mean, I don't like to create fear, but I don't like to withhold information. I feel like because I'm always connected to the Supreme Divine and that's kind of who I'm channeling. Um, and obviously my guardians and my higher source and things like this. So if there's anything coming through from that five dimension, you know, that's kind of where I'm going and where I hang out a lot. <laughs> So anything that's coming through that's for you peoples, it will come through. Now, if it resonates, fantastic. Whatever messages I'm coming through to, please don't make them fit. If it's not, if it, if it's not for you, don't, don't make it fit. Don't sort of create something that's not really for you. Uh, but, you know, you can always sort of look through past ones and things like this. And th these series are designed to grab as many sort of collective messages as I can and hopefully sort of, you know, it... it, it something it's for you um but that's you know so again like i say all of this is just sort of interconnected to what i do and again all of the donations i receive is all to do with me designating time which is because you guys have been you guys and gals have been fantastic with your contributions it's allowing me to designate another day to do this it's great so i can do more i can um take that time to invest into it more and again it's all to do with you know putting it out there and giving your people's what you need, what you want. So it's 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 
you know my time is my service to you guys and gals and again you guys and gals paying it forward is great really just great camera for you guys because there's always somebody that needs people like me doctors like me um and again because i do paranormal investigations too like it, it really helps so I, if somebody really needs a is looking for a missing loved one but they can't afford to sort of um use my my service um for many reasons this is what it pays for so i can designate that you know that charity time to that those people um so it's ha it's made, you know it's great that people do this it, it's a great contribution so never forget that um so like i say just um enjoy the collective messages the series and um like i say if you know somebody that maybe a message that's coming through if, if it resonates and you think i i know i know somebody that's that sounds familiar again just like share and share the videos if you feel like it benefits somebody please do it that's what it's all about um and you know don't forget to like share and subscribe it really helps my channel as you can see my channel is just really like Woo! It's it's great. It's it's like I'm so patient. I mean, I'm such an, a, a patient little authentic weirdo. Anyway, I love it. But I do put I do work very hard. I put so much work and effort into my one well, my creations and everything that I do. So I'm just sort of seeing it trickulating up and up and up. It's great because it just means that you guys and girls are really helping really push this channel. And I absolutely thank you so much for that. So um, we are moving up. <laughs> as they say so please welcome here um come with an open mind you just with somebody like me you just need an open mind you can believe in whatever you want to believe in but an open mind is everything and you might just learn something new and you know i'm always learning i'm always meeting great people and i'm always learning something new every day and that is the beauty of life so i welcome you here and i will and just again enjoy the series and i will speak to you all again very soon Hey, butterfly Karen how are you okay so welcome to this week's um energy connection uh, collective energy connection reading oh what a week you know I've actually got my tissue ready I think I'm gonna be a bit tearful tearful with this one possibly not guaranteed and I'm not ever gonna apologize for being emotional when it comes to energy because when it comes to warriors and things like that I, I I can't not get emotional unfortunately so I'm never gonna apologize for it but the energy is very, whew, there's a lot going on this month, but it's more so this week. And that's why I was a bit emotional because um, I never forget, I, I, obviously I'm from a very military orientated family. You know, like I say, my grandfather fought in Second World War II. But again, the, it's all about never forgetting. And obviously I'm ex-military myself, so, you know, so I can even if I wanted to. But regardless of that. I was, you know, just sort of doing my, my thing, you know, remembering my way. And then um, I just kind of got the urge to, um, you know, go and do, do a collective, just connect. Like I say, I was by the pool and I just got the urge to connect. And I thought, okay, well, no, not today. But then again, I thought, well, okay, well, why not connect to... I made the intent to try and connect to um, energy fallen warriors are fallen you know any fallen at this point it's just and i did i i got i i was it was amazing i actually got two but i'm gonna i'm even though a third and fifth message were from um what i was seeing i just i'm gonna discuss them last just in case i do get a bit teary-eyed so i'd rather get through the others first um and actually was a very interesting session as well because i did get um the first message that came through was there was a name involved and i can't mention that name it's private and then not to mention the fact that they were just i can say the nicknames but and you know there's just things i yeah i'm just going to withhold the name but i am going to distribute a copy of this to that person now at some point so um and it was a really really nice message i and i it was so relevant obviously it may, it may resonate to this person I would be absolutely intrigued if it did. Um, it would probably confirm a lot, but you know, regardless, I just this is for the collective. But it's very strange that I get a, a name, a full name too. So that was really cool. And you know, the first message it did. So I'm, I'm going to get straight to them. But um, 
so it did, this one came from a Claire audience. Um, I heard, like I said, I heard the name, and then I heard what sounded like nicknames between two people, like secret nicknames um, that maybe called each other. Um, so the first nickname, well, what I heard was um, Nini or Nai Nai, Nini or like Nini, yeah, Nini. So regardless of maybe how it sounds, but I just spelt two ways. N E N E or N I N I um, November India or November Echo. So Nini, and then I heard, I am so proud of you. I am on you. I am with you on this journey. You didn't realize how much you needed to make this journey until you stepped on your soil. This experience has not just made you question things you believed you already knew. But it has taught you many things too. Stay the course. I love you, dunk dunk. <laughs> I'm already causing mischief. <laughs> so, and then, and again, then I heard the giggle, and then the connection ended. And it was such a, it was an amazing message actually, um, for who it's for. But, um, yeah, it was, it, it was like a long, you know. I was, I was really connected though. So. It came in, and, be, and I think because it came in as Claire audience, I was just like, oh wow, oh wow, this is this is awesome. So I feel like this person needs to hear this. Um, so that's why I'm going to distribute it. And, and it would, I think, I thought it was really nice, but it was just like really, I'm already causing mischief. So I, I did feel like I was connected to the energy on on, on 5D. Um, it's already passed away, but um, she was really, you know, she really came through. And like I said, I hit, then I, as I, as she said, I'm already, no, I love you, dunk, dunk. I'm already causing mischief. <laughs> and then I hit a giggle and then the connection ended. So it was really, it was really sweet. So, um, so the second message came through was Claire audience. Okay. So, hmm. And it was a, vi a video visual. It wasn't very really long, but it doesn't matter. I just trying to grab what I can. Um, I was seeing a young girl possibly around 10 years old um and she had long blonde wavy hair again i have to just assume that's the age but some girls can look a lot older or younger than they actually are so i i, I can only see what i see um and i heard the name rebecca and then i saw the same girl riding down the street on an old yellow what looked like an old yellow scooter like you know i, I had one <laughs> But it's one of those old ones where you know you sort of stand in it and you hold the bars, and it was like, and then she was sort of riding down the street on it. And then I heard, I just heard the energy say, "They fixed my broken leg." So I don't know who needs to hear that. Maybe the energy I was connected to was maybe Rebecca, or the energy was Rebecca come through. But um, that's what they were showing me was this young girl. Um, Around the age of ten years, and I'll check. Yeah, long, long blonde wavy hair. And I hit, yeah, and I, like I say, Rebecca. And then I hit, and I saw the girl, like I say, riding down the street on what looked like an old yellow scooter with handlebars. And then I hit, they fixed my broken leg. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who that. Is. Maybe resonate to somebody. I hope so. But again, it's just that confirmation. I think sometimes they just come through. To me, even the, the some of the stuff that comes through can be really vague and weird, and it's weird to us, obviously. But to the people, it resonates with. It might not be weird at all. It may make like that makes absolute complete sense and confirmation, clarification that they still you know come through. <laughs> so, and there's always that. I like I like them regardless of how they come through. It doesn't even when they're pissed off. I don't care. I like it's just clarification for some people. Okay, this was one of the, the D-Day uh, connections I made, but I'm going to do that next. Because um, I'm going to do those two together. Because the fourth message that came from was just Claire audience. Um, and then all I heard was, Randy the animal can't keep the good ones down. It was like, right, just like that. <laughs> Randy the animal can't keep the good ones down. So that may resonate to somebody. Um... Oh, no, okay, okay, so before I do the two D-Day ones, I'm just going to do the random messages too that came through. Um, very, very strange. There's only two this week. Yeah. The first one is, the dog is not biting anymore. 
no idea. <laughs> and then the second was Come Back Charlie. So I, again, I don't ignore anything. I just write. So I put those under the, the short and sweet like that. I'll just put them under random messages. Okay, I need to just take a deep breath for the next two because... I'll tell you why. Because when I was connected, I was in tears. I, 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 I should you not. I was in tears. Like... In, I was in deep meditation, but I was in freaking tears. I woke up and I'm like, oh, when I came back, I'm like, oh, good Lord. <laughs> so that's why I was like, oh, I better get some tissue ready for this one. And I don't know how they're going to hit me emotionally when I discuss them. Oh, so, okay. So the fed, like so, like I said, the fed message when it, as it came through, it came through as a visual, visual, and it was clear audience. But it almost looked and reminded me of an old World War um, documentary, and then uh, like a documentary video. And that's what because it sort of reminded me of that immediately. And then I, oh, and then I'm, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Then I saw soldiers um, disembark in the boats, you know, running onto the beach in Normandy. Um, running through the water onto the beach. And then I heard an energy say... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. Um, if you're a warrior and you're a veteran and, and you've lost, you, you know where I'm coming from. But I heard... We lost our lives, but not our love. Never forget us. Oh, God, I was like, <laughs> So we don't, you know, we never forget. Um, it's like that. We lost our lives, but not our love. Uh, never forget us, so. Absolutely. <laughs> and then, and then the fifth one, Again, this came in as only clear audience. I've got to thank God there was no visual in this one because I would have just like <laughs> broken down. Um, but it was, you know, um, when I connected, when the energy connected, I, I heard. Wait a second. <laughs> okay. Comrades in arms, we fought. Mm -hmm. We fought the good fight. We drank the last drop. And we last the last laugh. Semper Fidelis. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, oh. you know, um, need the needed to be here. It, it was, it was amazing. It was an amazing day to connect to that energy. I, I was, I, I made the intent to do so, and I really wanted some. But they did, you know, only two. But it was good. Um, but they're definitely absolutely worth re mentioning. Because we, you know, we must never forget. We have life and freedoms. Everything that we have is because of who fell by sacrificing their lives for us to be this free. Don't care what people's effing political issues are today. The only reason you exist and have the freedoms you have to be this free. And to live and to have pissy fits, etc. It's because of those who fell for us. So if nothing's ever going to put, put it into just basic perspective, that's it. So, again, the first, the first one was, we lost our lives, but not our love. Never forget us. And... Comrades in arms, we fought the good fight, we drank the last drop, and we laughed the last laugh. Semper Fidelis. So, there you go. <laughs> Can't believe I'm good. <laughs> I got through it. <laughs> so, that was this week's um, collective energy readings, and I I do hope they, if they make you smile, smile. If they make you cry, cry. If they make you sentimental, be sentimental. But just be kind because it's free. Hey everybody in Butterfly and Karen, how are you? So so this is well, you know, every they're always interesting, obviously, but um I don't know, some some weeks it's just I find humour in some of them. Um 
So the first message came through as Claire. Well, actually, it came through Video Visual World and Claire Audience. Okay, so hmm. So I was sort of seeing what looked like a, a young lady, in a, you know, early, let me have a look. Um, I would say early twenties, um, mid, like mid length, mid back length, really long black hair. And um, she looked like she, okay, so, yeah. So she looked like she was she was cutting into her right arm. And then I heard the name Vanessa, um, which could be the young woman who I was visually seeing, or it could be the name of the energy that connected, you know, that maybe resonated with this person. Um, and then I heard self-absorbing fix. Stop it before you cut too deep. You cannot control everything. So um, I'll just repeat that. So self-absorbing fix. This didn't mean anything to me. This is whoever needs to hear this. Stop before you cut too deep. You can't, you cannot control everything. So that's, for me, when I get messages like that, they're sort of, the the, the concerned energy. It could be loved ones, you know, on, the, on 5D. They see more than us. I say this all the time. They actually see a lot more than us. So they can actually see what's coming. So maybe this, um, this energy is very concerned about this young lady in 3D. Dealing with issues like that, um, there's a lot more going on emotionally, psychologically, obviously. There's a lot more going on. You need to speak to somebody. Um, and if you, you know, find what you need. And then we all have to find a way to heal ourselves. Where's the best way we can. So, you know, when it comes to cutting, I, I understand. I, I know people who do it. I know people who did it when I was at high school. Um, and it didn't work then. It didn't fix their problem. If anything, it made their problems worse. So I I would definitely recommend you seek if, if this is what you're dealing with. You need to seek out help and then go to the root of the problem don't band-aid it don't put a plaster on it and expect it to fix it doesn't work like that you have to go to the deep rooted problem and when you know it and you know what the problem is you deal with it and then you work on healing and fixing it and still find a way to manage it and then when you manage the issues and the problems you start to manage your life better so that's, I guess, that's either for some uh, a young lady called Vanessa or the energy was called Vanessa. Okay, so the second message came through was a video visual to Claire, Rod Claire Audience and Claire Sentience. Uh, this was a strange, yeah, oh, okay, this was quite strange at the time because I was sort of seeing it, I was like, I was, it was almost like I was stood in a train station um, and I was on a platform and then I saw a green train, you know, sort of rolling in, yeah, pulling into the station and then I heard the name Marsha. And then I, this was really strange because then I felt like, you know when people are rushing past you when you're in a train station, you're really busy and everyone's, you know, I just think of London, like, oh my God, it's crazy. Everyone's just like human traffic. <laughs> it felt like somebody, someone was storming the platform and rushing literally into me, but just rushing through me. It was really strange. And I just felt like, I, I physically felt like somebody was brushing against me or brushing through me. It was... Um, so yeah, so the green train fest, and it's very, you know, like a dark, um, so like a dark military green. Um, it was a train, which is strange too, because I don't see many green trains these days. It could have been, <laughs> but like I say, it was pulling into a station. I don't know if that resonates with somebody, but then, like I say, I did hear the name Marsha, and that's all I really got from that one. It was just the sensations, etc. I don't know if there's. I don't know if that could be something to do with maybe the way someone passed away. Maybe the train station, maybe. Although there's, there's so many ways I can go with that. There's so many I, theories, etc. And I'm not going to do that. But that's all I was seeing. It, it, <laughs> I wasn't really getting much more than from that. Just the visuals and just the feeling of being rushed. That could mean something. Um, okay, so the third message came through was Claire Audience and Claire Sentient. Okay, so first of all, I started feeling like my right elbow started tickling, and then at the same time, my right knee started to sort of to itch, 
so they both started itching like sort of on the right side but on the the elbow and then on the right knee started itching and then I felt this tightness in my chest I know the difference between it's nothing to do with me it's not my feelings it's just I was connected to Clara Settings obviously and then I heard a name and a message I guess it felt it felt like the the message was maybe how somebody okay so this I'm gonna go two ways with this one either this was I was connected to energy that was maybe how they passed because I did hear the name Bruce um, okay so the message I heard was I heard the name Bruce and then longing for a burger and fries don't do it it will be your last meal so obviously that was from energy giving that message um, and this is how you know something like this it would probably be a heart attack obviously um, but it was either energy that connected to that came from that sort of saying how they sort of passed over or that is somebody on 5D who knows a Bruce on 3D who really desperately wants to eat fries and um, burger and fries but because of their uh, they could have some health issues and um, by the name of Bruce and they've been warned not to do it because it will be your last meal so there's a Bruce on 3D I, oh, just, I've got issues and conditions etc and I just want a burger and fries you know there is somebody maybe a loved one on the other side on 5D going don't do it <laughs> it will be your last meal like literally so and then like I said I was feeling like the itch it was really strange because it wasn't like major tingles it was itching so I don't know what that means but but itching on the elbow and then itching on the right knee and then like really like tight chest but again as soon as I uh, I disconnected with the energy I was all back to normal all, all that crazy stuff went away so I knew I know it's nothing to do with me so um, and I know my body <laughs> um, okay so okay so the fourth message came through was a photographic visual and clear audience um, Ooh, okay I would be intrigued to get to hear anything that maybe this is okay so basically I was looking at a picture and in a picture I was seeing a fishing trawler and then I heard the word sardines and then I heard the message I heard the following message lost at sea not coming home journey or genie journey or genie love you so obviously my when I hear that I thought oh no I wonder if there was a mission a mission fisherman um, or men you know on the fishing trawlers and maybe there's somebody lost at sea and I don't know a journey or a genie is is, is, is missing a loved one at sea who basically is fishing is a fish works on the fishing trawlers um, and sardines so obviously maybe that's resonates to what they catch I don't know but I, it was almost like the energy was confirming look I'm lost at sea I'm not coming home Janie or Jeannie love you I don't so maybe if there's somebody lost and somebody's still having hope or waiting for you know oh, maybe they'll come home I don't I'm not coming home unfortunately but probably deep down this this woman probably knows anyway but you know um, so that's kind of sad but I don't know when that was it could have already happened it could be happening could be present so I don't know but anyway lost at sea not coming home journey or genie love you so the fifth message came through was clear audience um, I just heard the following sentence and I felt like the energy was trying to protect someone it, it did it, this one it just felt like someone's I don't know why I just got that sense that some this energy was trying to protect somebody um, definitely here on Friday. How am I supposed to love you if you fade away? I mean, that could be that could mean anything. But this, but intuitively, when I hear that, I intuitively sense somebody's dealing with anorexia or bulimia. Like, um, 
I don't know. That's all I but I, that I can't. That that's just what I was sort of sensing. So I could be completely wrong. But um, that's all I heard. But intuitively, I usually get if I can't get a lot. Um, I to, I used to work with my intuition. Like, well, what does that mean? I mean, can I? I need a clue. <laughs> but I intuitively felt like there's something to do with bulimia or um, anorexia. I don't know why, but how am I supposed to love you if you fade away? So, I mean, but again, that can mean anything, so. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly go for the few random messages before I start the sixth message. Um, so the first message, the first random message I heard was, Spencer, stop spying. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but these literally come in that random. Sometimes one word. But I'll, I'll repeat them as I say, as I hear them. And then the second one came through, and uh, the second random message was, "You can find me now." <laughs> and then number three, I came to make love, love, love. I don't know if these sort of like short sentences are just resonates to somebody on on, on free day. I don't know, but if they meant something in life when somebody was, I don't know, alive. And then you know the fourth one was Lily of the Valley. So random, that random that I just um, I, I don't know where to place them. I don't really have much to do with them. I, I don't consider them a, f a full message, but um, and there's not much there's not much clear sentience or feelings or anything that comes from them either. So that's why I have to put them under the just under the random message messages. So. Hey, butterfly Karen how are you okay so just as I am um, like I say right now I'm, I'm in the process of putting um, quite a few videos together because I'm slightly behind <laughs> but it's not a big deal um this is the collective energy reading oh good lord it I can't even begin to <laughs> well I knew this month was going to be incredibly strange incredibly strange there's a lot going on in the universe there's a lot there's so many crazy energy shifts this um energy shifts etc it's just it's i'm always i love connecting but i got a this this week this this particular day i don't know if it's this week alone it's actually been an emotional roller coaster week too that's why i know there's a lot going on with the energy and the shifts are really prevalent right now and I don't know if anybody else is feeling it I mean I did get a message from the divine too which was which I feel you know me when I get a divine message I'll share it openly I don't care if it's for me but I put it out there because it may resonate to somebody else too and needs to hear it because if it helps you it helps you and that's the whole point of any of this is to help you help you heal help you um, accept acknowledge work with work with etc so it's all about the healing process um, but then i am going to have to discuss um <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one the third message this one's saying i went from 5d to dealing with to energy to seeing something completely in probably another um dimension or something it was incredible but I'm gonna share it with you because you know me I, and it, it falls more under my ufology but because it wasn't that big enough to put a full um, paranormal you know paranormal investigation report or more so a uf ufology report together um, I just put it in the collective because it came in the same session when I was in deep meditation it came in the same session as my collective energy readings so it was it was interesting so I'm, I'm looking forward to discussing that one but then the fourth message um, again that came from the divine I'm going to share with everybody else and the fifth message was quite vague but anyway let me get started with um, the first message and this one came through as um, video visual and clear audience oh excuse me what? let me just oh. so I was seeing a little girl, maybe about four years old, possibly five again. It sounds for me, I mean, I can always just assume an age, but I could be wrong. But, you know, let's just stick with four, five, six, over three. <laughs> you know, just... Um, so she was wearing a green t-shirt and a pink pajama bottoms. 
she had brown curly ringlet hair yeah you know what she may be about four or five she was really you know but a real tight curly, ring, curly ringlet <laughs> cute as hell <laughs> and then i saw her okay i saw her climbing out of a box or a bed shape box and then i heard the name jessica kane but i spelt it two ways again c-a-n-e charlie alpha november echo or C A I N Charlie Alpha India November. Oh, I'm sorry, my accent I, I I believe is an issue for some people. So, but anyway, <laughs> I was feel once I got her name, I heard her name. Then I'm starting to feel strange tingling sensations on the um, top of my my left forehead. So it was like Ooh, you know tinglings. And then my nose was tickling and I could and I was literally hearing a whistling sound. So I I don't know if that if there's a young little girl on NJ by the name of Jessica Kane or what I don't know what Jessica I mean Jessica Kane could be the mother or it could be somebody in either on 3D or in 5D. But again this energy when I'm connected to energy could mean something else. But like I say, I don't know if the tingling sensation or it's, I don't know if there was an accident with a child and it was an affected, maybe a head injury. Because I saw her climbing out of a box or a box shit. Maybe she was, maybe had an accident. I don't want to go to the, I don't want to see her and discuss how I, I, I can only assume. I mean, I can deal with the feelings, but I, I don't want to do that because I like to put out positive messages. But usually when I'm feeling stuff, my Claire, um, if a bit of clairsentience kicks in too, um, I can get a, an idea. But I wasn't really getting the clairsentience in the physical form of like, as an empath, I was like, oh, oh, I'm feeling everything. It was just, I was just feeling tingling sensations around the top of my, like my forehead on the left. And then, my nose was tickling. And then I heard a whistling sound. So I was like, okay, something going on there. Now, that's what came through for um, the first message. So the second message came through was a photographic visual and clear audience. Uh, yeah, this was just a, uh, it wasn't really anything, it, there was nothing much to come from it. It was just, I saw the visual of a, a woman with long brown hair and hazel colored eyes. She was smiling and then I heard the name Mary and the number 73 that's what came through Mary and the number 73 and a, a visual of a woman with long dark hair long brown hair with hazel coloured eyes maybe just somebody needs to hear that somebody came through but this sometimes do come as just like still photographs sometimes they come in as visual video visuals and they're like oh, and then I start the automatic drawing or writing whatever it needs to come through because I've got to really focus on you know the energy and what's coming through in the data so it's all about the data <laughs> um okay I'm not sure whether to leave the third message for the last one and just continue it on actually yeah let me leave I'm gonna discuss the third message last because it was intriguing <laughs> so I'm gonna jump to the fourth message this came through, okay, this was um, a divine message. I feel like it was for me, but again, I'll share the divine messages with anyone because I, cause even though I felt like it was for me, I also felt like it was for, the, for somebody else or there was others out there that needed to hear this too. Maybe they're dealing with something very similar. But anyway, um, this came through as Claire audience and Claire sentience because I'm starting to feel, I'll explain that in a moment. Anyway, the strange any connection, Again, I felt like it was divine message. Um, all I, I could hear, ego driven, time to release him. He chose another over you again. You're beyond his comprehension and way out of his league. <laughs> okay. As soon as I heard that, I immediately felt like I was connecting with the energy of a man or I was being connected to an energy of a man here on 3D who was, one, who was once again repeating the same cycle of attract, attaching himself to low vibrational women fake, those type right financially high maintenance women many of them out there today the strange thing was 
as soon as I heard the message and I connected to it and I felt like I was being connected to the 3D to sort of understand it and see it again and get that clarification, I actually felt relief. <laughs> like, thank God for that, you know. And then, and as soon as I like that, oh God, thank God for that. It was just, get out of my energy field. That's exactly how I was feeling. Get out of my energy field, remove this person, this low vibe person from my energy field for the love of god for good i don't need and, and i'm not i don't feel like i'm just talking about me right i feel like i'm talking about many women or even many men in my situation just because it's not it's just i felt like there's many of us going oh god just get that person away from me out of my energy field they're just so low vibe it's like oh my god if i want one of those i can just go up to a bar and get one like that right that's not it's not you know it's now you know women like me were looking for quality sure as they're not looking for quantity financial quantity and all that crap because there's nothing unless you're a good human being and a little bit self-actualized and you got a, a, at least a decent amount of good self-esteem right that it, we can work together as a team right and it's got to be equal I don't need a man who thinks a high maintenance fake woman is better than me. I'm joking, right? A low vibe woman who's better than me and can't understand maybe, um, and again, I feel like I'm just speaking for other women here. I don't think it's just more for me. I feel like I'm sort of saying as if I'm speaking for other women that are in feeling this. That's what it feels like. It's like women are feeling it. There's, there's somebody or someone who needs to hear this. Um, I, first of all, I'm so ascended to a high, so yeah, I'm way beyond the comprehension of a low vibe man. <laughs> so I think we can all agree to that. And again, for everyone needs to hear this and is feeling the same way. And secondly, yeah, you absolutely, I absolutely am way out of this person's league. Of course. You're low vibe and I'm high vibe. The two completely different energy signatures. So, like, if you're dealing with a man like this, like I say, there's women like me, we're not interested in the quantity of what you've got or your money. We're, talk, we're interested in quality and soul feeding. Some, we need somebody that feeds our soul, understands us. Possibly on our wavelength a little bit. Um, but if, you, if we're beyond your comprehension, yeah, we're way out of your league. We're looking for men of substance, not low vibrational functioning frequencies. That, I think that's the be all and end all of life absolutely not so there you go so th i always thank the divine for those <laughs> um and so the fifth message that came through was photographic visual and this was quite short actually because i was seeing what looked like oh i don't know what this symbolizes sometimes but uh, it's not the first time i've seen an ear so there's something about i don't know what it is it's but i was seeing what looked like all I was seeing was a, a person's ear and there was just like blood seeping out of it and I'm like what? <laughs> what? and that was all I was seeing it's the strangest thing so sometimes they come through random like that um, but there could be some sort of symbolism to it there could be a meaning behind it but I just don't know what that meaning is in the moment um, I, I, then I had to sort of go out there and do research after um, stuff like this so. But then, okay, let me just quickly go for the random messages and sounds. Ooh la la, ooh la la. So, a few days ago, I was laid by the pool with my friend. And I was listening to something, and then, and all I heard was, shine on you crazy diamond. Uh, excuse the singing, I don't care. But I was just came in like, I was hearing, because it was strange, I heard it, then I heard it, I heard it in my head, then I heard it in this, message and then I heard it on the freaking radio and I'm like what so I knew there was something about that song I mean I love Pink Floyd anyway and I love that song but then for the next few days afterwards it's like shine on you crazy diamond it's like oh god, god, god. so I can hear now so I'm hoping now I've put it out there um I love the song but it has to end there's usually a reason why sounds and songs come through so there you go shine on you crazy diamond actually to be honest I kind of I see myself as a, a, a crazy diamond. Absolutely take credit for that. I'm highly proud of it. So yeah, I'm gonna shine on. But if you're shining and you're a little bit crazy and cool, 
keep shining. <laughs> then the second one I heard was, you can cradle me now. <sighs> and then the third message was, serendipity is always in play. Serendipity is always in play. Right, I need, I need some coffee before I discuss this third message because it felt very familiar to me. I felt like I've actually seen something very similar to this before, um, but it was incredibly bizarre. Um, again, let, I'm gonna put this more under ufology because um, it was. <laughs> Put it this way, cute is all I'm gonna say, right? Cute. That's it, I love it. So this visual was very like it was very strange, believe me. Um I was stood in front I was stood in front of a small human like being, but not quite human, right? Um very ch like child like the and and it was, like he or she was about three feet tall and really had real pale skin, like slightly big head and then it just kind of came like a slight angle and like I'm like oh my god I can't believe <laughs> I'm not like normal people so I don't care um oval shit and then the oh the eyes were like like I've got oval shaped eyes like slightly oval but these were like whoa really big oval and like and really like round eyes and a slight nose not slight nose um but a real like, like thinner lips than hers. I mean, you would, you know, if you look, if you looked at it, a quick glance, you'd go, oh, look at that little child. Probably needs a suntan, right? And then you'd look away. But if you, if you looked again, you'd be like, what the, what, what is that? <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not, not like a child. Is that a human? <laughs> One of those, right? So, but the eyes had, they were orange brown eyes, like, amazing like they really stood out like um i guess the only way i could sort of describe the color of them was like tiger eyes but the color like the orange and brown but red but more orangey that's all i can say and then i okay, and then a, a split as a pupil and i'm like okay and to me i'm like that okay you know that's very reptilian but not even close to low vibe frequencies coming off this being at all like nothing like that um Again, I think when we were talking about the reptilian species, you've got to be very careful when we're talking about the reptilian species because there's two types. There's actually probably more, but there's two we know of. Um, low vibrational, high vibrational, a thousand megahertz and above, right? Two different types of reptilians. So even though we only, we're only conditioned now, especially online with this crap that goes around, to function only on the low vibe one, which are pretty bad, but there's also a different one. And they, and, you know but they're they're actually good <laughs> but I don't want to talk about the different spe species etc right now it's just um, I didn't feel like I was in the presence of a low vibrational reptilian species at all um, and it was really really cool but uh, but again like I did I did mistake it immediately like for a, a, a human a child I'm like hmm. and it was like whoa what are you hello and then I don't know I just I kept looking at it going, oh, God, so cute. <laughs> I'm not fucking normal. I'm not normal, I love it. But I'm like, oh my God, I'm so cute. You're so cute. Regardless of where you come from or what you are, it doesn't matter to me. You're cute. It's just so cute, right? But then we made physical energy hand contact. Oh my God, right? We just sort of like hands to hand. And as soon as that had that hand to hand contact, I immediately felt this incredible heat. Like, I do energy healing, Reiki healing, I do physical energy healing, and the heat that comes off me, that I, from my energy that goes into people, right? This was even 10 times more intense than that. I'm like, oh, I was feeling this heat, immense heat. Then I saw a bright, a bright flash of light, and like, so I was not just dealing with actual heat, but I was dealing with like a flash of bright light. And um, and then I was kind of, kind of like looked at this little child like being and it's just like with his little lips just like smiling at me and I'm like oh my god and then I heard the word Oconus O-C-O-N-O-S Oscar Charlie Oscar November Oscar Sierra Oconus 
3375. This is one expect more. That's exactly what I heard in this sentence. O'Connor's, and I saw it too. I saw I was written sound like that. Okay, got it. 3375. Okay, okay. Those numbers mean something. Um, and then, like a, and then expect more. O'Connor's, 3375, expect more. So that's what came through a clear audience from this. Because it wasn't like, Oh, Connor 3375. It was just like in telepathically. Like, it, it, I could hear it. I could hear the sentence, obviously, in that clear audience. But I was sort of seeing the, the sentence. Like, that's what I do. It could be the name of this child figure, or it could be the name of the species, or it could even be the name of their planet. Regardless, you know, anyway, that's why I mean it's hard to get. If I really wanted to delve into that one, I'd have to do some major research in the field of ufology at that point. Um, but again, I would definitely go to a probably slightly different. I wouldn't just fig I wouldn't just stick around on 5D at that point. I'd probably try and go high, and you know, I don't know. It's just the why this came through. This clap, you know, this this video visual came through as and this inter interaction, like major clear clear sentience too. Um, like it was really strange. It was amazing. It was amazing and beautiful. I was like, oh my god! I mean, I I live for this. So, but I wasn't expecting it during just a normal uh, collective energy reading. So I don't know if that's for results. To sort of, I don't know what that could possibly mean. Um, it could be for me. It could be for us all. Maybe just something to look forward to or interacting with in the future. Or a Connor three three seven five. Um, expect more <laughs> so all I can do is just sort of um, write what I'm seeing and talk about what I'm and discuss what I'm seeing and all the data that comes through but it's not to do it's not to create fear or anything like that if you fear something like that then you need to reevaluate your conditioning you need to recondition yourself it's nothing to fear I'm not come you know if you fear everything that you hear you again just turn off those box those TV boxes bizarre um, I didn't feel anything negative from it I didn't feel fear or anything like that. if anything I was like oh my god this is amazing and it's beautiful but that doesn't mean everybody else would have that same experience somebody else could have an experience like that and a connection like that and go what <laughs> really get scared that's okay but nothing scares me unfortunately so, and because I strive for this sort of thing, it's not going to scare me at all. So yeah, that, I feel like I went on. I had to sort of, you know, discuss in depth certain things about that this week's collective energy reading. But it comes through like that, so I guess it needs to be discussed a little bit. Um, and I don't like to go on and on and on, obviously, but. I'm going on and on there's, there's a reason for that too maybe that reiteration needs to be heard more for the collective um, but regardless I mean as far as I'm concerned as long as the if the um, if the messages etc is helping or um, healing is part of the healing process or helps you change your behaviors because I say this all the time and I'll continue to say it in practically all messages on free, what we do on 3D is seen on 5D and above. What they see, what the energy on 5D sees, they see everything that we do. See, hear, they, they hear everything that we say. Um, so what you think you, what you think you're doing that is hidden is not hidden at all. So they see a lot more than what's coming too. So there you go. Have a great day. Um, have a great weekend. Be kind to one another. It is free. And I will speak to you soon. Ciao, ciao.